Hey cutie, so in today's role playing video, my dad was secretly Santa. <laughs> Christmas presents, can I open one just a couple days early? Just one? You know the rules, you can only open up mom and dad's Christmas presents after Santa drops by and puts the rest of the presents under the tree. But daddy... Mackenzie, sweetie, rules are rules. Okay, fine. But don't worry, Christmas is only two days away. Can you be a good girl and wait? Yes. Okay, good. Why don't we watch some Christmas movies together and I'll tell a Christmas story that you've never heard of before. You've told me all of them before. You even told me that yourself. Not this one. This one's a new one. It's about you in the future. What? Christmas movie first, though! I just don't understand whatever happened to him. I miss him so much. He's just gone out of thin air and it doesn't even make any sense. Where could he have possibly went and why did he have to disappear during Christmas? I love you, Dad. I just wish that you could come home. Meanwhile, I miss them so much. I would do anything to be with them again. <laughs> Hopefully I will be reunited with them soon. I can't bear this pain anymore. A few moments later. Guess what? Christmas chicken butt. Year, but I'm missing my dad more than other years. So I'm like excited, but I also miss him so much. And I'm like sad because he disappeared during Christmas. So then I'm like reminded of it extra. Oh, girly, it's totally okay. My dad doesn't visit at all anymore. We have each other though, right? And that's all that matters. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just sad, that's all. That's natural. Just don't worry about it too much. You're right. I shouldn't. It's just a tough reminder. Out of all the days of the year, it has to be the greatest holiday ever. Come on. Let's go ice scootering in the snow! Moments later. You ever wonder why it snows during Christmas? Um, no. Why not? Because... Oh my god, Sky! It's... Don't blow our cover, you fool! Let's follow him and see where he's going! That's a very good point, girly. I guess that's why they call you the brains and me the beauty. What? Who does? Hurry! We can't let him get out of our sight! Ugh, fine. Be that way. I wonder why he's in town. Who said that? Who said what? What you said earlier! What I said earlier! You know, the beauty and the brains thing. He's going to the hospital! Come on! A few moments later. I wonder if he's sick. That's impossible! Santa doesn't get sick! There's literally no way, girly! No way, Jose! I mean, I guess you're right. It is Santa. It would be pretty hard for Santa to get sick. I'm always right. Trust me, I know that by now. Alright, let's not go overboard. No, can you tell me what you meant earlier? Like, who said those things? <gasps> Dad? Oh, come on. Stop deflecting. No. Look, Santa's definitely my dad. Ah! What the heck just happened? Not again. No. Bruh. Five minutes later. My dad was secretly Santa. That's where he's been all these years. He never died. He just left us. Oof. When you say it like that, it honestly sounds worse. Well, yeah, I guess. But at least he's not dead. I don't understand why he left, though. Why wouldn't he want to talk to me? I don't understand. Maybe he's just being busy? For this long? No way. He's got to have a better reason than that. I hope he still loves me. What if he just never liked me? Or even my mom, and that's why he left. Kenzie, don't be silly. Let's find out before you jump to conclusion. I'm sure if it's him, he has a good reason. You're right. I should probably listen to you more often. You should be listening to me all the time. Meanwhile, I ain't feeling too well. Honey, remember what the doctor said. Less talking is better. You can't be using too much energy. You hear that? What Mrs. Claus says goes, and don't you forget it. I could never. Don't Mrs. Claus me, mister. That's Santa Claus to you. I miss this. Me too. But I miss my other family too. Is it time? Not yet, but soon I promise. Okay. Meanwhile. I saw dad. I saw him. And don't try and tell me that it wasn't him. Because I know what I saw. And Sky can back me up. Right, Sky? Yeah, I think so. You did not see your dad. No one has. Now stop it. Why are you doing this to me? Ugh, you're the worst mama ever. I'm sorry, Sky, but I think it's best if you go home now. Yeah, okay. Oh, whatever. I'm going to my room now. Bye. I'm sorry you had to see that, Sky. Uh, see you later. Bye, Mrs. McGinty's mom, man. See you soon. A few moments later. That was so unfair. Why was she shutting me off like that? That is so not okay. Oh, look who came in to say hello. Well, I don't want to talk. So enjoy talking to my booty. I didn't mean to get mad at you, sweetie. I just wanted you to drop it so I could tell you later and not in front of Sky because Sky can't know this. No, what? Your dad never died or mysterious left. He left to become Santa Claus until Santa Claus got better, but he hasn't yet, so he's still filling in for him. I knew it! My dad secretly wants Santa! All the 
these years. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. How come Sky can't know? She's my best friend. You can't tell anyone. You're not even supposed to know. I don't care. Sky is my best friend. She has to know. Five minutes later. And so my dad was secretly Santa. He never left. Whoa, Curly, that's actually insane. Your dad is just built different. I wonder why you always get the best Christmas presents. Now I finally know why. It totally makes sense. No, it's because Santa likes me more and thinks I'm cooler. Well, duh, he's your dad. No, that's not what I meant. Even if he wasn't my dad, he still would. Sure. Anyways, that's insane. Are you gonna go find him? I'm gonna at least try. I need to go see him. It has been way too long. Meanwhile, I can't believe my dad is gonna die. I'm gonna miss him so much. I wish Mackenzie could have met him before then, and same with my mom. I wish she could have met both of them before all of this, but at least I'll get to be reunited with them soon after. What's up, Dad? I'm in a little bit of a rush. Got a family dinner with Mackenzie and the wife. Oh, I see. Uh, this will only take a few moments. I can't wait for you to meet them soon. It'll be so amazing. I uh, hope so, too. Anyways, fill me in. Is everything okay with Mom? Yes, she's fine. It's about me. Are you okay? Just let me finish without interrupting and you'll have all the answers by the end. Okay, I am sick. What? Are you dying? What did I say? Oh, right, right, sorry. I need you to take over for me as being Santa until I start feeling better. And you would start tomorrow because Christmas is in two days. But then Kenzie would wake up on Christmas morning with no dad. But if you don't, then there will be be no Christmas. Think of the sadness. Oh boy, you are the only one that can save Christmas, but you need to abandon your family to do it. Can they come move to the North Pole with me? They have not been granted the seal of Christmas, so no. How does that happen? Only when I die and the true meaning of the Christmas spirit passes down to you. So what if I do this and save Christmas? What happens? You stay Santa until I get back better and then you can go back to your family. And what if you don't? Then I die and you become the new Santa and your mother dies and your family will have the seal of Christmas and you'll live happily ever after with them once more. I accept. A few moments later. I have no choice, sweetie. <laughs> What about our daughter? She's so young. Who cares if people miss one Christmas? You don't owe anything to Santa. It's not like he's your father or something. I know he's not my father, but I can't turn down Santa. Think of all the upset kids if Christmas is canceled. Think of how upset your daughter will be without you. <laughs> this is my destiny. I have to do it. I'll be back soon. I promise. Okay. Be something here. There has to be. I just know it. I wonder why he was here. Yeah, me too. Maybe some kind of secret entrance? Where? I can't see it. That's why it's secret. It's 3 a.m. in the morning already. Jeez. We should probably get home and then figure this out tomorrow. Agreed. The next day. Hey, girly, it's Christmas Eve. That means it's Christmas tomorrow. Woohoo! My dad will definitely be out delivering presents tonight. We'll definitely run into him here if we just stay up. Then I can finally talk to him. Out. Moments later. Is it time already? Sadly. But you're never gonna meet Kenzie and my wife. It's okay. That's just life sometimes. I'm sure she'll make a great Mrs. Claus. And I'm sure Mackenzie will make a great Santa Claus when the time comes. Just always remember to keep the Christmas spirit alive and never forget to be a beacon of hope for all those around the world. I'm gonna miss you so much, Dad. <laughs> Don't cry, sweetie. We'll all be together soon enough, I promise. Stay strong for us, okay? Okay, I promise. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. I love you too, son. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, we have to figure out how we're gonna find him tonight. Carly, you said it yourself. It's Christmas. He was gonna end up dropping right into your house to leave some presents for you. We don't need to go anywhere. We can just watch Christmas movies all night. Ooh, I like that idea. Christmas movies are my favorite. Work smarter, not harder, silly. Okay, what should we watch first? Should we just pick randomly since it's gonna be a long night? Filled with great ideas. Like always. I love spending Christmas together. Me too. I hope we can for the rest of our lives. Same here, girly. I can't see why we couldn't. Later that night. Do you smell that? Yeah, I thought you farted at first, girly. Don't be silly. I would never. I feel super sleepy all of a sudden. Me too. The 
the next morning. What the heck? Why am I in my bed? And where's Sky? Wait, it's morning. I missed him. No! This must be a dream. There's no way this is real. This doesn't even make sense. Uh, no present? Okay, I'm definitely having a bad dream now. Mom, get down here. Moments later. You're not dreaming, I promise. This is super weird, though. No, it's not. Dad! Sweetie, you're home. Does this mean that you're home for good? No. <laughs> You're both coming with me. We are moving to the North Pole. Really? Don't worry. You can still see sky whenever you want.